the anomalous signal. Here's what started the entire chain of events. At 347 UTC, the Deep Space Network nodes in Goldstone, California and Canberra, Australia, logged a strange radio transient. It lasted only 8 seconds and came directly from the Andromeda sector, a tiny patch of sky less than a degree across. Instantly, it stood out. The signature didn't match any known pulsars or the behavior of cataloged quasars. For a normal solar radio burst, the pattern was all wrong. The signal's intensity, while faint at a flux density of only a few Janskys, was coherent enough to be unmistakable. But the most compelling clue was its frequency. The burst peaked at 408 MHz. That's a softer, lower frequency than most fast radio bursts, or FRBs, which typically hit between 600 and 1400 MHz. This detail is critical because lower frequencies like this are known to be in the range that can efficiently interact with and stir up electron motion within Earth's magnetosphere, a process governed by plasma physics. This wasn't just random noise from deep space, it was a signal with a frequency that, theoretically, was perfectly tuned to get a reaction from our planet's protective shields. It was a whisper, but it was a whisper at exactly the right pitch to be heard.